11 and 2, the new Minnesota or an aberration. Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, breaking down the Golden Gophers. And the best way we know how to do that is to bring in Daniel House. You can join him on a Gopher Hole and also on a Score North uh, for Minnesota football coverage and uh, sports coverage across uh, the Minnesota landscape. Daniel, how are we doing today? Doing well. We're finally out of the below zero temperatures, so we can start to feel better about spring approaching, football coming back, and everyone's starting to get excited after a really exciting uh, 2019 season. Yeah, I think the last time we touched base was uh, just prior to the Outback Bowl and the big win against Auburn as Minnesota, of course, finished off a top 10 season at 11-2. and two. And now it's time to dig back into action, uh, starting with this recruiting class that by national elite standards is not going to bowl anyone over as the 37th rated class in the nation and number nine in the Big Ten. But for development programs, developmental programs like a Wisconsin and Minnesota and some others, there's a lot of depth there. There's a lot to be excited about. Your thoughts about uh, the class with eight already on campus. Well, you said it right there with developmental program. I believe that's one of the things that PJ Fleck has emphasized since he uh, was head co- has become head coach at Minnesota. He really wants to find guys that are fantastic athletes, and he's going to recruit in different tiers. So he's going to look at the roster and go, okay, wide receiver and offensive line. That was an early emphasis. And then after that, they went in and tried to get some defensive tackle talent. Then they really emphasized defensive ends. And then in this last class, adding more speed at the linebacker position. I really like what they've done there with Cody Lindenberg, Anoka, Minnesota native, really great athlete, sideline to sideline range. They're going to be a lot quicker uh, in the second level of their defense just with some of the additions that they had from the past class and this one. And then landing Jaquandis Burns from IMG Academy, another guy that fits the athleticism profile that they're looking for. I noticed Specifically with P.J. Fleck and his staff, they, they really emphasize getting those guys that have a lot of upside and traits, and then they know which areas they need to emphasize in a certain cycle so that those people can develop behind the scenes. So this year, you'll notice the defensive line, some of the young contributors are going to have to step up there because for the Gophers right now, they're secondary, the cornerback position, a lot of talent returning there with Benjamin St. Juice and Coney Durr. Who steps up in that nickel role? Is it Justice Harris? Do they look to maybe put in Terrell Smith in that spot? Uh, But they're going to rely on a few young players. And early enrollee, another one to mention is Kai Thomas, the running back from Kansas. He has the chance to be the guy that everyone remembers from this class, one of the most electric playmakers in Kansas. Joe harris Timiak did a great job of recruiting Kansas, coming out with Kai Thomas and Daniel Jackson, two of the top players in that area. That really is the emphasis of this class is those two players. And then there's a lot of guys with upside that we'll see once we get into the second year of their development where they're at because they'll be asked to step into important roles. And the expected uh, positive bounce back from a big year like Minnesota just had on the field is not necessarily that current recruiting class, but the next one, correct, as we may see in 2021. And we got to Daniel House on the line from Gopher Hole and Score North. Uh, Daniel, uh, before we move on to some other aspects, uh, just in regards to the recruiting class, not this specific class, but what you've seen out of P.J. Fleck and his approach to recruiting based on what we've seen from previous Gopher coaches. Well, P.J. is just different in the respect of that he is just a relentless recruiter. He said it from the beginning when he came here. He's like recruiting is a bloodline in this program. He has all of his coaches ready to go out on the trail and find the best players that are going to fit his culture. I think that's one of the things that really separates P.J. is He really wants to find the guys that fit what he's trying to do. It's not for everyone. And I think that's what made that team successful last year was the chemistry, the buy-in from everybody on the roster. Uh, That's P.J. Flex mentality. He wants to find guys that align with what he's trying to do with his program. And he's done a fantastic job of that at Western Michigan and Minnesota. You don't have the level of success that you do and win a bowl game on New Year's Day against Auburn without having the ability to recruit, develop, and patch the holes of the roster. I think P.J. now, as he transitions into this next season, the biggest challenge is going to be there's a lot of returning talent on the offense, but how do they handle some of the stuff on defense with seven key players uh, not returning next season? Please like, comment, share the videos, and subscribe right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football.